The Canal and River Trust and the Environment Agency welcome you to our waterways. This film is all about boating on our canals and rivers safely. There are few safer ways to travel than by boat, especially if you take the necessary precautions. Wearing a life jacket is the single most important thing you can do to stay safe. Always wear it on deck when operating locks, swing bridges or passing through tunnels. You should also always have a handhold on the boat and wear sensible shoes with a good grip. Stepping on and off the boat is where most accidents happen. There could be a gap between the boat and the bank and the ground might be uneven. Wear your life jacket when doing this and never jump. If someone falls in the water, stop the propeller or turn off the engine immediately. Don't jump in after them. The water is very cold even in summer. Keep sight of the person in the water at all times. Throw a line to get them safely to the bank. If they are in a canal, tell them to try to stand up. Many canals are not very deep. On deeper or wider waterways, throw a life buoy close to, but not at, the person in the water. Pull them to the side of the boat and help them aboard. Watch the Man Overboard film for more information on what to do if one of your party does fall in. When passing under bridges and through tunnels, don't put yourself between the boat and the tunnel or bridge walls or get in the way of a moving bridge or lock balance beam. You could end up getting seriously injured. Boating on the inland waterways is all about enjoying a slower pace of life. On many waterways, there is a four mile per hour speed limit. If there are breaking waves behind your boat, you are going too fast. These waves can disturb the environment and even capsize canoes or paddle boards. Always slow down before you pass moored boats too. Navigate your boat on the right hand side of the waterway. Give way to unpowered craft like canoes or rowing or sailing boats and large vessels such as passenger boats, freight barges or maintenance boats. Larger craft may need to keep to the deepest part of the channel, meaning you need to move out of the way. Take extra care in busy areas and keep an eye out for people in the water. Paddle boards, canoes, kayaks and rowing boats Pass them slowly with as much room as possible. Swimming in canals is prohibited in many places. In some rivers, swimming is allowed, but check with the navigation authority first. Be aware, the water can be very cold, even in the summer, and there are many hazards, including deep and fast flowing currents, mud, weeds, and tree roots. If swimming is permitted, never enter the water to swim from your boat. However tempting, always take care near the back of your boat. This is where the sharp propeller blades are. Never tow anything behind your boat, such as paddle boards, dinghies or inflatables. Wash your hands before eating or drinking. You may have come into contact with the water, which can carry bacteria. If you feel unwell after contact with the water, seek medical advice. During warmer spells, you may see a blue-green coloured scum on the water. This can indicate the presence of toxic bacteria. Avoid contact with the water and make sure pets don't drink it either. Sometimes it can be hard to know your precise location. It's helpful to download the What Three Words app. The app will give you a precise three-word code which emergency services can use to locate you within a three meter by three meter area. It's always a good idea to keep a phone charged and in a waterproof pouch. If you need to report criminal or antisocial behavior, contact the police on 101. In the event of an emergency, call 999. If you want to take your boat handling skills to the next level, consider taking a training course from an accredited provider, such as the RYA. Please also read our Boater's Handbook for more helpful information and advice.